how technology has changed the dynamics and expectation of dating. I know that we are still on this series. I hope that you're enjoying it because, well, you have a few that I've recorded that we shall be going through because I want us all as equipped as possible. So today I'm going to be talking about how the expectations and the dynamics of dating have changed because of technology. Let's face it, I will see you on the other side. My name is Chengi. I am your dating and relationship expert here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy, where we teach you ladies how to present as a high value, high status, and high worth woman that quality men find completely irresistible. If that is you, then stick around. So let's get right into it. Now we are in a situation and a circumstance where, of course, we can swipe right quite easily. Now humans are making very fast judgments on each other we're judging appearance and we're judging the fact that we're, we're making fast judgments and guess what we also have the ability to have instant gratification put all of that together and we have a lot of children in the playground making a big big huge mess <laughs> give instant gratification and put the ability to judge quickly, to swipe, to replace, and we are in trouble. Now we can sit here and complain about why it is the way it is. And some of us can even lament about how we can go back to a place in time when the world was a little bit different. Unfortunately, we are moving fast and speed is the signature of the modern day. Speed is something that's not going to go down. We are only going to go further in speed. We're going to end up at warp speed light speed we will be traveling the world and we'll be going to different places speed is the new drug it is the new way of life embracing that is really very important now it is required of us to understand that there are certain realities that will not change people will not stop judging each other and people will not stop reaching for instant gratification certainly not the ones who have not done the work and even for those of us who are doing the work it will still be very difficult to walk at a pace of our own when the world is moving very fast and so what is happening is that there is a culture of hookups that has evolved because now sex is a little bit more readily available some may argue more so for women than it is for men and that is a conversation that i'm not having with anybody right now but i suspect that it is true but we have in culture a hookup culture that has been made possible by the ability and the, the availability of just being able to advertise oneself on dating apps etc so Chengi, what do we do we just what it seems like we we are just being taken away on the steamroller what we have to do is understand that though in every way we are enough we need to adapt and we need to shift and we need to realize that we no longer get neither have we ever gotten but certainly in this time we no longer get a second chance to make a good first impression now we always know that the first impression of a person with us is always lingering and it always lasts in order to change that first impression can take a very long time and even then it's never quite the same we have to understand that the day and age where being just a really great girl is no longer enough you are no longer being judged by the content of your character, at least in the first instance. You are being judged by your presentation. Now that might hurt your feelings. You might not like the sound of that, but it is what it is. I'm not here to tell you whether you're wrong or right. Neither am I here to try and make anybody feel bad. But the way we present ourselves is important. How you interpret that is very important. So I'm going to try and explain myself. You must present yourself according to who you truly are. Remember video number one. Who are you really? This is the person that must come out to play. This is the person that must affect your style. This is the person that must create your brand. Yes, I use the word. I know we have we are overcome with branding and words like branding in the digital world. 
but again, we cannot ignore this. Your brand can no longer be what you think is selling on the marketplace. Your brand has got to be the most authentic version of yourself. Who is the most authentic version of yourself? If you've been doing some work, you will have a clear idea of who your authentic version is. But also, we can make it a little bit easier for those of you who want to start participating and making a difference right now. It's really about understanding your core needs. It's really about understanding the things that you need to be in a relationship and reflecting those. Take for instance, you are on the marketplace looking to marry and have a family. You're done with the partying. You just want to settle down, find a great guy and get married. But every picture that you have on your socials, every single picture you have on your dating app is you in something short and skimpy and party-like. Every single reel we see of you is you at some party. This is not the accurate estimation of your current brand. It is you projecting to a set of men what you think they're looking for, but you are not projecting your actual desires, in which case you are not moving authentically. At this stage, you have to ask yourself, do I really want to be a wife? Do I really want to be a mom? Do I want just a great relationship, somebody to party with? Because these are very different asks and these are very different brands. We cannot undo decades and decades and years of wiring. We have psychological prejudices in the back of our minds that as much as we can scream, shout and march down and demand that people change their minds, it will take a millennia or more before we really truly begin to change the way that we fundamentally feel about certain things because some of these things are hardwired in our brains. It is very difficult for a man who is looking for a wife to choose a quote unquote city girl. In a man's mind, city girls are the girls that you go out, have fun with, spend a lot of money on, tell the beautiful, and then go and find somebody who is a way more conservative, somebody who shows a little bit more stability, somebody who is a better and more capable mother, somebody who will be a better mother for his children. I know we don't think that men think in terms of good mom for my children, but they do. Even if they don't intend to have children, even if they already have children, this is one of their number one priorities when they are choosing a wife. Remember, men do not marry neck down, they marry neck up. That means that the person they choose to be with has to make logical sense, has to be somebody that can get on with mom, that can get on with his family, that can raise a family, his family, that can fit in, that can be somebody who can contribute in the nurturing way to his life. She has to be able to have some domestication to her, even though he may not expect her to cook and clean and become barefoot and pregnant, he still wants to know that if he left her alone, his kids would have something to eat and that the both of them can enjoy cooking. Even the modern man, yes, still requires a little bit of that. And so if we are out here in the digital space showing what a fantastic time we have all of the time, and we don't show those more down moments that are real, the moments where we sit down and read a book with a cup of coffee, the moments that we take a walk in a beautiful park, the moments that we just lie on the sofa and switch channels. We now need to curate our brand, our digital brand, so that at the scan of an eye, in the first 15 seconds, in the first split second, this man understands and sees where you are at your stage in your life. That this is not a woman who is out here ready to come and party with me. This is a woman that is ready to settle down and make something special and beautiful. Now you can't make a man who's just ready to party stop partying because you've changed your brand. But what you will do is attract the gaze of a man who is ready to settle down and find his queen. Therefore, it is no longer enough to just have a good intention, to know what your intentions are, but it is so crucial and so important that you show that from the gate. That means the first squares of your Instagram have got to tell that story. Now, that's a little bit difficult for some of us who are, you know, celebrities, some of us who are public figures, and your world consists of parties, consists of socializing, and maybe your business page is simply that. That, a business page and you don't get to show some of your nature unfortunately for you you are going to have to show up authentically there too because that is the best place you're going to meet a spouse the reality is most people meet their spouses at work if they're not meeting them online that means that in your place of work in your business show moments of vulnerability 
true vulnerability as pertaining to what you authentically want in this stage in your life. It's not about saying it, it's about displaying it. Men are visual and so are we. We will make judgments and we will make them quickly. And so you will either be put in the hookup pile or the pile of maybe let me take her seriously. Are you feeling stuck and don't know where to start? Or oh, you've already given up on the dating game? Well, don't you dare, because this summer, we at the Blacks Relationship Academy have an amazing retreat for you. It is our digital retreat, and it's on the 17th of June, 2023, where we will get you unstuck and let you have the first steps. This is for you ladies who are ready to take a new step into the unknown. Maybe you need to refresh your course. Maybe you just need to reinvent yourself, but you don't know where to start you're really feeling stuck dating the same man you have probably quit and are lying in your bed right now flicking channels wherever you are we're here for you and this retreat is for you we get so much value and guess what you will pay whatever you like this is an event that is a gift to you we look forward to seeing you and first ever retreat 2023 so all you have to do is follow the link in our bio or download the black swan app where you'll be able to access all of the links that you need I want us to consider contacting our dating coaching team that will help you curate the Instagram, the branding that is top notch, that will show and present you for who you are. I got you, didn't I? I bet you thought I was going to be talking about you going to the gym, losing weight and becoming this figurine. No, here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy, we promote health and wellness. I want you to be the healthiest and the wellest you can be. I understand that that doesn't necessarily have to come with being skinny or slim or anything. That you can have a healthy, strong body at any size as long as you're moving it, as long as you're eating right and as long as you're honoring your temple. Because there is somebody that likes, desires, wants that version of yourself. Yourself. However, we must project authentically. This doesn't mean that you have to stop, lose yourself in a new avatar. What this means is you need some styling help. It is possible for you to still be you, to still be sexy, oh, to still be sensual, to still be appealing, to still be your personality in a different set of clothing, in a sense of clothing that you have never tried to explore before. See, the beautiful thing about authenticity is that we get to explore all of who we are. We don't always have to be one thing. We don't have to be the girl that has her boobs and tits out and legs out to feel like the most beautiful, most sensual, most sexy woman in the room. Sometimes we can wear something a little bit different from how we would have dressed before. And we will just turn heads. Yes, we will. And we have the expert help of our stylist and style concierge here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. We've got you on every level. And I know that you are hoping for something profound, but it is so important that you curate your digital image and your offline image because we will no longer have the opportunity to come back again. We were discussing with our coaches about the new retreat that is coming up. I'm so excited and I hope that you've got your ticket. If you haven't, make sure you go into the link in the bio and get yourself a ticket to our digital retreat where we'll be teaching you all of these things. As we were discussing this and talking about how we would do the advertising, we realized quite quickly that we only had one shot that we live in a world where the moment that reel is over, that video is over, the attention of humans is gone. And so we must maximize every moment to let you know that this thing is indeed possible. This is absolutely no different from the dating world. You are as easily and as quickly forgotten as the last reel. Men will go to that party, they'll go to the next party and you will be forgotten because the mind has become so used to processing so much information and getting rid of what looks and feels like everybody else and everything else. The issue now is to really stand out. It's easy, you just have to be your authentic self. You have to rebrand yourself into who you really are. Not into what you think sells, but into who you really are. We are here to help you. And I hope, ladies, that you found this really useful. Do download our Black Swan app where we will be giving you tips and tricks on how to practicalize this new information and win in the dating and relationship world. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. But in the meantime, do take care of you. Bye-bye now. Well done for coming to the end of this video. What I want to ask you is, what have you learned? What is your takeaway? 
and what are you going to start practicing right away. Those three things are how you are going to get the best out of every class here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Please put it in the comments so that we can all have a look. So I can have a look, the coaches can have a look. And I promise you, we read every comment. We may not be able to reply to every comment, but we read all the comments and we want to see how you are growing. And we will see you on the next video.